I'm back. <laughs> it feels like it's been a minute. I actually started to try and do this video like a week ago. Um, <clears throat> the concept of this video is basically about how to find your sexy. And hilarious because in a week where you have like the world's worst period of your life, naturally you're not feeling very sexy. I think that's even more so the reason why I wanted to like jump on here and do a video. Like, what the fuck does sexy mean anyway? Like what? being sexy is only when you feel your best only when you're in your best like no like what if we could find a way to like tap into a version of yourself that feels like good that feels like happy in her body what if that is sexy you know i wanted to bring you into like my kind of sacred space which right now is just like my living room um and ways that i tap into her or the idea of her sensuality is firstly like I'm always trying to love on my body now there's been so many times where I've literally like not appreciated her I've been mad at her I've not wanted her the skin that she's in I've really like resented the body my body at times so I try to take up a space you know I'll just sit somewhere in my house in my room and I'll have some music on and it will just be like a, a moment to just just touch, you know, to be grateful, like, thank you so much for being present with me today, for getting me through this period, thank you so much for, like, being here when maybe no one else is, when I'm feeling a little bit isolated, when I'm feeling a little bit vulnerable and sad, you're always here, you show up for me daily, in the moments that you felt weak, that you felt sick, that you felt poor, you've held me together, and it's just a reminder that, like, she is safe, you know, in a world that sometimes presents to us a lot of unsafe environments, especially as women, like, your temple here is literally reminding you every day, but I've got you. I'm here for you. So for me, this is just a nice practice, like, literally just to touch her. And I can do this to music sometimes. I do this before an intimate session with myself. Um, and I probably will speak a lot about um, masturbating. Um and pleasing yourself so please you know if this is a new space for you please don't feel like offended or put off i really just want to speak about this in a real normal non kind of sexual way just a really embraceive natural way if i'm honest um i think there's a few things that i want to talk on but this idea of self-pleasing um in relation to what we expect of others you know we want that person to make us climax we want to tell our best sex stories we want like to have the best moments of our lives from someone else but i'm like baby have you given yourself that have you explored her have you figured out ways to make her feel absolutely on top of the world have you studied her have you looked at her have you invited her have you played with her and toyed with her and you know and again this is just me right now in my safe space talking to a camera. But, like, for whoever does see this, I really want you to ask those questions to yourself. You know, if I was to put myself in a, in a sacred environment in my house where I feel absolutely trusted, am I able to look myself in the mirror, to look her in the mirror and say, I am fully accepting, I love you regardless, whether you're on your period, whether you're cranky, whether you're moody, whether you're spotty, whether you're feeling tired, whether you're feeling erratic, I love you. Um, and I think that's where we start, right? That's what we want from our partners. That's what we want from the people that we share ourselves with. We want to feel loved. We want to feel desired. But do you desire? Do you love? Do you care for yourself? It's my, like, that's the first questions that I would be asking. So I, I'm going to treat this like a little mini practice, actually. Like, instead of it just being a video um, where I talk and share, I want to kind of bring you in on a practice. So... I'm just, like, I'm not going to do a full session. I would usually, like, be here. I will try and talk through. Um, I'm going to let it be a little bit, like, meditative. And I'm going to talk through, like, a little bit about your breath and your feeling. Um, so join me. I'm going to close my eyes and talk you through. Okay, so... Like, you just feel relaxed and centered in your body. I just want you to feel into the space that you're in. Can you hear sounds outside? Are there people in your house? What are you 
you sitting on? Do you feel the sheets of your bed? A rug beneath you? A cushion that you're holding on to? And I just want you to touch, stroke, feel into some of your parts of your body. I just want you to breathe into each stroke. And I really feel present with her. And she's existing now, she's present now, she's here now. Yeah, and we're gonna just do some nice breaths. vocalize some of that feeling. Into your hair if you need to. Into your neck. Into those vulnerable parts. Now just start to let your body move. Even if it has to just stretch a little bit on your bed, on your sofa, on your floor. Just fully relax into this space of you. Like don't feel conscious about what it looks like. There's no right or wrong. It just needs to feel, if you want to get into some other movements, that's absolutely fine. Arching of your back, into your neck. want to just let that part of your hip just start to unfold, to circulate, to really let go of any tension. Everything that you feel on a day to day is stored in your body. So this is about releasing, releasing. Nice. Okay. So that's literally something, ooh, <laughs> that's literally something I would do by myself for a while, um, at least 30 minutes when I'm trying to tap into her and nine times out of 10, I do finish with pleasing myself. Um, you know, whether this is downstairs or upstairs, I will honestly make a space, I'll make it sacred. Um, it won't feel like shame, I think. You know, something that I've been thinking a lot about recently and seeing a lot of posts actually is this idea of shame being stored in our body. I mean, if you think about it, we were told from early ages, like, close your legs, oh, don't do that, or you can't make that sound, oh, no, stop. Especially as women or young girls, you know, like, even just down to the concept of, you know, how embarrassed we were when we heard our parents have sex, or we spoke about our parents kissing, it was like, ugh. Imagine from a child, you are learning that sex is bad, or it's naughty, or it's shameful, or it's something to feel like icky about. And then we wanna be 30 and claim our sexuality. Like, how have you got to this stage without completely overriding this? And I'm not saying to disregard those th feelings or thoughts that you had as a child or growing up, but we have to understand that that plays a part in the way that we view ourselves, the way that we view sex, the way that we view intimacy. If we've had this idea that in our cultures, in our family, in the people that we um, uh, talk to frequently, have this idea that sex is something shameful or, you know, like the, the partners that I used to have, you know, early on in my life where it was like, oh, I don't do that. We don't go down, we don't, you know, whatever it was, or like, we don't kiss on the first, you know, any, any idea of sex equaling shame, or ick, or yuck, or no, nah, like, where, you have to figure out where that stems from for you, for you to then kind of go, that's great, but I don't believe that anymore, I believe that I'm deserving of feeling powerful, I believe that my body is deserving of release, of ecstasy, of joy, and when we understand that, we can actually claim the skin we're in, claim the, the 
pleasure we want to feel and ask of that from our partners, from the people that we, we share our bodies with, right? Or even just of ourselves. When you lay down and you're about to experience that moment for yourself, you're basically saying, I claim me, I claim her. She's allowed to feel all of this. There's no shaming that. Um, and that, you know, a lot of that tension, that energy is stored in the lower parts of our body. And you've seen these, um, stories or these memes or these things that are going viral about you know twerking is good for release twerking hips rotations all of that like it's good we store so much pent up like feelings of shame in our vaginas that like if we don't choose to release choose to like let it out like how are, how are we really sharing, you know? So that's why I do certain exercises in my classes just like that. We just do this. We open like and, and close a few times just to show like, uh, I, there's so many times in a class where I'm like, one, two, yes. And then the girls behind me are like, I'm like, girls, all right, cool. Everyone say it with me, one, two, yes. And we're like, one, two, yes. And I make everyone do it with me because why is there shame? Why do you feel like you can't, moan why you can't scream why you can't ah uh, like and this isn't me being like you know i don't even know i don't even want to judge myself in this moment this is me sharing that like sex is your maybe not your birth right because we don't want to talk about that but like you're allowed to enjoy sex you're allowed to feel sexy you're allowed to feel desirable you're allowed to feel like you want to share like you want to feel like you want to love all of that stuff okay so these are just little things that i do you know touching in on myself i will then like do some like light freestyling i will then explore with toys or with things that i have like you know i know it's a bit out there i know it's a little bit taboo i know we don't really speak about it but this is literally what I stand for. I teach women every day to love on their bodies. There's times where I absolutely haven't and I'm not mad at that because it's brought me here, right? There's times where I've completely rejected myself, completely not been in, in my heart, in my truth. And these reminders today when I'm on like day three of my period, when I'm feeling groggy, when I'm feeling a bit irritated, it's just about centering myself, listening to some music that makes me feel alive, that makes me feel sensual, sexy, wanted for myself as a single person. And then I just tap into that energy and feel into her again. So whether you're a mummy, um, you're in a partnership and you've not been able to explore that for a little while, you're single, you're feeling lonely, like these are just practices that you can take three, four minutes, even in the shower, have the shower over you and just imagine like, this water is just like cleansing this idea of you having to be pure. Like, I'm, I'm, you know, please, your own beliefs are your own beliefs, but like allow this idea that like, I am not dirty. I am not bad. I'm not naughty for wanting something that my body absolutely craves and desires. I'm allowed to feel this. God literally, or the creator literally would not have put thousands of fucking pleasurable, like, fucking nerves in your vagina if you didn't want you to fucking love them and feel them and use them and work them and yes so just go and enjoy them okay okay this is my little over and out um and yeah it's valentine's soon so like use this as a little treat to yourself and just pick some yummy songs maybe i'll put some songs in the caption or something that i use when i'm feeling like this and um yeah go and enjoy go and have a bit of fun ladies yes Mwah.